Hi, this is Dave Kale. Welcome to our Practical Wisdom series of podcasts where we try to provide wisdom and resources and focus on helping sales professionals and business executives sell better, lead better, and live better. Hi, this is Dave. I want to talk about attitudes today. You know, we've all heard about the importance of our attitudes. How many times did we hear something like this, you know, Dave, you need to improve your attitude. Okay, like I've heard that how many thousands of times, and probably so have you. But uh, fortunately, there's a lot more to attitudes than just that off-spoken refrain to improve ours. Successful people eventually learn how to manage their attitudes. It is one of the characteristics of Pretty much uh, successful people in every walk of life, they have figured out over the years, to, to a better degree than most, how to manage their attitudes. So we're going to dig into attitudes here a little bit. You know, attitudes are contagious. You, you know that if you spend a lot of time with negative people, you begin to see what's wrong with everything and everyone. Hang around a lot with depressed people and you become depressed. On the other hand, if you're energetic, if you're, if you're with energetic and optimistic people, it rubs off on you. So, it's number one, our attitudes rub off on other people. And while it's true the attitudes of others rub off on you, the opposite is also true. And, and honestly, far more important, our attitudes can rub off on others. Your attitude then becomes one of the key pieces of your ability to influence others. Here's here's one of the more powerful bits of wisdom that I have ever come across, and that's this, quote, you can choose your attitudes. Let me repeat that. It's really important. You can choose your attitudes. You know, you can choose to be happy. You can choose to be sad. You can choose to be confident. You can choose to be cautious. You can choose to be afraid. You can choose. On and on it goes. So if you don't believe it, take this little test. Tomorrow, as you're eating breakfast, tell yourself these things like over and over again. Tell yourself this, quote, it's going to be a rotten day. Everybody's everybody's afraid to buy. You know, most of my customers won't even see me. I'll, I'll probably be laid off soon anyway. Okay, now say that to yourself over and over again. And and having then repeated that sort of litany of dreariness to yourself, pay attention what kind of attitude you have during the course of the day. You're probably not going to be effervescent. You're probably not going to be overwhelmingly positive. Probably you're going to be depressed and discouraged, and that attitude will just seep out of you and you'll spread it to the people around you like the plague. You could, on the other hand, change your attitude for the day if you were to get up tomorrow morning and repeat this kind of thing to yourself multiple times uh, in the morning and then several times throughout the course of the day. Repeat this, quote, it's going to be a great day. I can't wait to see what good things are going to happen. I know there's some good things I can do for my customers. I'm going to make a difference in their business and their lives. The result of this this train of thought is confidence and positive energy. And you know what? That will ooze out of your pores as well. And you'll spread that confidence, positive energy, optimistic attitude, etc. So here's the point. You can choose your attitude. You can choose confidence and optimism. And by so doing... You influence those around you, and you do your small part to contribute to the betterment of those in your sphere of influence. Of course, you're not going to single-handedly change the world and the world's attitudes, but you can positively influence those people with whom you come into contact. Now, you're a professional. You contact more people in the course of the day than most people do. Your customers, your prospects, your colleagues, you know, your friends, your family, the people you work with, people you supervise, even your managers, those people who supervise you, 
All of them can be influenced via your attitude. Because of your position of great potential influence, you have, I believe, a greater responsibility to be proactive and to lead others. It's, it's time. It's time for you to step up to the plate and become a positive leader for those around you. It's time. You have the responsibility. So here's a couple guidelines. Here's a couple guidelines to kind of help you assume the role of uh, attitude influencer extraordinaire. Number one, start with yourself. Make sure that you are nurturing your own personal attitude. Make sure that you've got a, a support structure set up, you know, that you've got intellectually and emotionally, you know where you are and who you are. Now is the time, and again, you might not agree with this, now is the time to revisit and revitalize your faith in God. Hang around positive people. Make a point to read uplifting books and articles. Get some, get some additional training. Expose yourself to positive uh, audio lessons like, you know, like these podcasts. Create a set of strong affirmations and read them to yourself at the start of every day. So understand that you need to, you need by force of will uh, to influence yourself and to build within you positive attitudes. And so you take, you take some, some effort, you know, you, you make some very specific efforts to fill your head with positive thoughts. So you start with yourself. And, and then number two, assume that you are the leader for which people around you are looking. People are looking for leadership. You know, be, sens- be sensitive to opportunities that come up in the course of the day that uh, give you an opportunity to influence the attitudes of those around you. So if you're a manager, for example, do something positive for your people. Invest in them some way. Enlist their input and their involvement in some new initiative. Don't just talk the talk. Show your attitude by your actions. Walk the walk. You can, you know, you can choose. You can choose to be part of the problem, or you can choose to be part of the solution. You can choose to be influenced by the negativity around you. You you can choose. You can reflect cautiousness. You can reflect fear. You can reflect anxiety. You can do all that. And you're just, you know, you are like the pebble thrown into the pond. You just create waves and waves of that. You, you, You project it onto others and they pick it up and do the same thing. And it just keeps going. So you can do that. You know, you can contribute to that downward spiral in attitudes. In that case, you're part of the problem. On the other hand, you can choose to be part of the solution. You can be that pebble thrown into the water that creates positive waves. You, you, can, you can choose to be confident. You can choose to be uh, fearless. You can choose to take anxiety out of the issue. You can choose to be competent, confident, fearless, hopeful. It's your choice. And when you choose those things, they seep out of you. They just come out of your pores and it influences others. And you are then not part of the problem. You are part of the solution. Really, the choice is yours. Hi, this is Dave again. I just want to take a second of your time and encourage you to pick up uh, one of my books you know I've written uh, 13 books and a number of them have become uh, worldwide sellers and this is one it's called 11 secrets of time management for salespeople 11 secrets of time management for salespeople so originally it was uh, it was 10 secrets and it became a a worldwide seller I mean uh, available in 20 different countries and and in eight different languages and uh, a number of years ago my my uh, publishers came back to me and said, Dave, we'd like to do a second edition uh, in honor of the 10th anniversary of that. Let's call it 11 Secrets. I said, okay. So we did 11. So we added another one, came with a second edition. So this is this is the second edition. Honestly, there are concepts and practices and processes that we detail, very specific detail, that will change your performance forever. 
I mean, time management is, of course, the greatest challenge for salespeople today. And we've got solutions that are proven uh, evergreen solutions for salespeople to, t to use their time in a, in a far more effective way. It's only, you know, it's less than 20 bucks. You can get it uh, online, get it through Amazon, or buy, buy it on my website, davekale.com. doesn't matter. Get it wherever books are sold. It will be something that will change your career forever. 11 Secrets of Time Management for Salespeople. Okay? Thanks. Okay, short one today. That's it. That's it. We're done. Bye-bye.